اللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا صاحب السجن ارباب متفرقون خیر من اللہ الواحد القہار ما تعبدون من دونه الا اسماء سميتموها انتم واباؤكم ما انزل الله بها من سلطان ان الحكم الا لله امر لا تعبدوا الا اياه ذلك الدين القيم ولكن اكثر الناس لا يعلمون we were reading the ayat through which prophet yusuf alayhi salatu wassalam was preaching to his fellow prisoners ya sahib ye sijn o two of my prisoners co prisoners amma ahadukuma fa yasti rabbahu khamra as for one of you who saw that he was you know he was pressing wine in his vision the interpretation which yusuf told him that you will be freed and you will again be restored to your position and you will be pouring out the wine to your lord to your king now he is rub for king wamal akhar and the other one who said that i saw you know myself carrying some uh, bread on my head and the uh, and the you know birds were eating from it wamal akhar to him he said he will be fayuslabu he will be crucified fataqulu tayru min rasihi and the birds will be eating from his head Qudiyal amru alladhi fihi tastaftiyan This is the decision of the matter about which you wanted to have inquiry and you wanted to have the opinion. Wa qala lilladhi zanna nannahu naji minhuma And he asked the one about whom he had thought that he will be freed and he will be saved. Uzkurni inda rabbik You just remember me and mention me in the presence of your lord the king. tell him that a person is there in the prison innocent he has done nothing he is there a prisoner fansahu shaitanu zikra rabbihi but satan made him forget and he didn't remember that yusuf had said to him that he should mention him to his to his king fa labisa fi sijne biz asinin so he remained in the prison for a number of years now these number of years are said to be 10 When he came out from the prison, he was thirty. He was seventeen, they say, when he was thrown in the well, and then he was taken to Egypt. He remained three years at the house of Al Aziz, the chief executive officer in that government. Then he was imprisoned and remained in prison till for ten years. So when he came out, he was thirty. Waqal al Maliku, Inni ara sabra bakarat. Now this is after about ten years. What is going to happen? Now between these two ayat, you know, there is a gap of ten years regarding the dates of the incidents. Karl Baliko, the king said. Now who was this king? First thing that is to be noted is that he is not Pharaoh. Pharaoh was the title of the kings who belonged to the soil of Egypt, the local nation. You know. the people they were ha- having their own system and they were having their own kings and they were called pharaoh but actually this king was of the amalekites amalaka they were from the arabian desert they had invaded egypt and they had you know, they were governing egypt at that time and he was a semitic in his origin the egyptians are said to be the progeny of hazrat ham the second son or the third son of hazrat nuh alaihi salam not sam but you know people of the arabian desert and of iraq and sham they were the progeny of hazrat sam semitics so they were semitics they had invaded egypt and they were ruling there so as, as if they were the alien rulers and that is why they are not called you know they are not called uh, pharaoh and they say that his name was they are called hyksos kings and the name of this king was apophis and his you know his capital was memphis wa qala al maliku inni ara sab'a baqarat siman and the king said to his chieftains in the in his court i am seeing in the ara and this means you know he he saw this vision repeatedly sab'a baqarat siman i see seven cows fat ones yaqul hunna sab'u jafun 
and they are swallowed and devoured by seven who are very lean. Vasabasum bolatin khudrin, and I see in my vision seven ears of corn which are green, wa ukhara ya besatin, and another seven which are dry. Ya yuhal malau utuni fi royaya, aftuni fi royaya. Oh, my chiefs, now tell me about my vision. In kuntum li ruyaya ta'utaburun, if you have, if you are the interpreters, if you know the expounding of the visions. Qalu azghasu ahlamin wa ma nahnu bitawil al-ahlami bi'alameen. They said they seem to be mixed up false dreams. And we don't know the interpretation and expounding of this, this type of dreams which are mixed up, have no reality behind them. Now that person, the two prisoners, and the one who was freed and he was now serving the king, you know, he was to pour the wine in the cup of, this, of the king. And now he recalled after a, this long period of time, though Yusuf was there and I asked the interpretation of my dream and he could tell it. And then he had told me that I should mention about him in the presence of the king. I will be able to tell the, the meanings and the interpretations or the expounding of this vision. So you send me forth to Yusuf in the prison. Now when he has reached the prison, he says, Yusuf, why you have Siddiq? Oh Yusuf, the true one. As you have Siddiq. Now give us your verdict. In the vision of seven cows semanin who are fat. They are being devoured or eaten up, swallowed by seven cows who are lean. And about seven ears of corn which are green. Another seven which are dry. So that I may return to the people so that they can know what is the meaning and interpretation of this dream of the king. He said, Hazrat Yusuf said, you will have normal harvest, usual harvest for seven years. So whatever you reap, you keep it in the ears. Don't take them out. They don't take the corns out. This was the a way to preserve it, you know. Illa qalila mimata akulun. Accept the little that you eat. Whatever you require, the daily rations, you take out from the ears. But the rest of it, let it be as it is. Summayati mimbadi zalika sabun shidadun. Then after that, seven year will week of very hardship. Ya kulnama. Those seven years will eat up what you had stored for them. You will be storing for seven years. The excess crop will be stored. Keep on storing them. And now when you know there will be draft for seven years, you will eat up the stored grains. Now, except a little amount of it which will you, you will have to preserve for the next crop, as to use it as, a, as seeds for the next crop. Then again, after those seven years, the year will come on which, in which the people will have rains. And in that year, they will be pressing wine, you know, there will be crop and there will be greenery and everything will be okay and you will be pressing wine. 